Hey, this is Ruben here, and today I'm going to show you how to use Melody Source, which is an AI driven plugin that works within your DAW, whether it's Studio One, Logic Pro, Everton Live. And what it does is basically it creates automated melodies for you. So, whenever you have that writer's block or you can't just figure out um, a melody line or you need some ideas to create a melody, this plugin will come in handy to basically help you with your arrangement. So for this reason, I've created a quick arrangement to show you how this plugin works. Again, this is the MIDI effects plugin and you would load it within your DAW as a normal instrument. But then what you want to do is you want to actually uh, output your MIDI notes into another instrument and let that do the job, right? So uh, I have a quick arrangement here. I'm going to show you how this sounds like and then we're going to jump straight into Melody Source and show you how uh, powerful it is basically. Okay, so here we go. This is a quick arrangement. Okay, so nothing much is going on here. I have uh, a quick rhythmic pianos and steps there, and then we have arpeggios, arpeggios uh, some basses, kicks, are basically unmixed, unmastered. But I have what I have here is basically an underlay of an arrangement, and we don't have a lead or we don't have a melody yet to this piece here. So we can use Melody Source for that. I'm gonna show you how to use this, right? So what you're gonna do now is again, Melody Source basically works as uh, an instrument, a MIDI effects. So you're gonna load up Melody Source. It works by VST or Audio Units AU and drag it into an empty track. I mean Studio One. So this is how I do it. And you can see that we have now Melody Source launched within our window here, right? So I also have another uh, empty instrument here, Reactor Six, and I already preloaded uh, a scene here. Let me just load it up here. Right, it's a simple scene. I'm not making any changes to it. And what I'm going to do is I use Melody Source to create some automated melodies for us. And this is based on AI. Um, how true is that? I wouldn't know. But I think it's based on a lot of algorithms and also machine learning behind the plugin itself. So let's find out. So basically what I do before you get started is you want to root the MIDI notes from Melody Source into your instrument, right? This is very important and you have to do this. So from Melody Source, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Reactor 6, which is my instrument, and make sure the ins of the uh, inputs, the MIDI inputs, are coming from Melody Source number 2, all right, which is this one here. Okay, so once we are set with that, uh, we just have to arm both of the tracks here. Let me just solo this. And what you're going to do first is take a look at this Melody Source interface here. So we have the key, which is, uh, you just know your key of the your arrangement. So my arrangement is in the key of a minor, C major E, so this is fine, but you can choose the different types of keys and you have to do that within your arrangement. You can choose the speed of the melodies, whether you want a slow or fast melody. Um, of course, the octaves, the swings, the triplets, syncopations, whether you want them within the melody or not. And if you look at this uh, window here, we have, you can choose within a simple melody for it to generate a simple melody for you or to generate a complex melody or maybe both join together, right? We have a light type of melody, we have dark type of melodies. And basically what the plugin does is it generates uh, ideas for you. So this is great when you have the writer's block or you just don't know what to do or you just need some ideas to you know, lay on a lead on top of your arrangement here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is uh, once we have mapped up the outputs to Reactor 6 or any leads that you have within your arrangement, your DAW, uh, what we're gonna do is just gonna hit on a few things. And when I hit on this pad, so you can immediately see uh, the melodies coming up here. So we can choose like simple, complex, uh, maybe both, 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 right? And we are generating melody ideas here. Right? So there's a melody created for me right now. Let's look at melody six. If you're not happy with that, you can change, maybe you want some swing within a melody and you can just keep on generating ideas. All right, let's just generate more ideas. Generate new ideas. You can also harmonize these things, right, by clicking on harmonization here. 
Alright, so let's hear how this sounds when I put this on top of my arrangement. Uh, I've shown you how you do use it. So I'm going to unsolo this and play it from the start here and see how the melodies works on top of my arrangement. Alright, this is going to be, it's going to sound awful, but let's see if we can get some good ideas on this one here. Okay, so let's say you like that lead. I, I'm not very feeling this lead right here, but let's say you like that melody. The next thing you're gonna do is just take this thing here, right? Drag it up here and push it into your track, just like that. And there you go, you have the MIDI. Let me just close this. The MIDI that is created for you, just like that. And of course, you can also edit this by yourself. So we have the MIDI notes that was generated by Melody Source here. It sounds like a kid's song right now. Okay, so let's try more melodies within Melody Source here and see what comes up again, right? We have tried one earlier and I've been not feeling it, so let's try more. So I'm gonna load up Melody Source again. Let me source two here, all right? And of course, unmute everything. And basically, we can see that we can change the octaves. Let's say I'm gonna go uh, down an octave, off the swing, off the triplets, have syncopations, and uh, maybe use some harmonization there. I mean, let's go for maybe a, a darker kind of dark and complex melody right now. So you can create and generate a few melodies there and you can also A-B test between them to see what works for you. So let's go and let's play this. Different melodies right now. Okay, so maybe you like that melody here. I'm gonna take this and drag this here and see how that sounds like. And of course, we can drag a few types of melodies just like that to see how it sounds like, all right? Together with our arrangement. So when you drag the uh, MIDI into your arrangement, the plugin actually mutes itself. So it doesn't actually sense MIDI to the instrument itself. So we're gonna hear this together with the track. Let's go. Okay, that sounds okay. That sounds a bit decent, right? Alright, you get the idea. Of course, this is not really gelling with my arrangement right now. But from here, I can easily take that idea and expand upon it. So obviously, this MIDI plugin works for electronic music, hip hop music, and not so much for orchestral or pop arrangements, I would say. But let me know what you think about this uh, plugin here. Does it, would it help you within your arrangement? And do you think this is a useful plugin for music production? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have questions about the plugin, um, check out the blog or the method.com, and I'll see you.